day three of my load of dirt walk. So today I've got about, I did 40 k's yesterday. I think I got 32 today. I don't know, around about that anyway to get down to Backers Marsh Railway Station. The thing with today is there's no water until I get into Backers Marsh. So I've, um, I've got four litres. So that should be enough for Brecky and to get me there. It's going to be a warmish day, but not hot. Probably 26, they're saying. So we'll see how we go. All right, I'll catch you when I start walking. Time to get up. Oh. All right, it's just after 7.30. I'm walking. A little bit overcast at the moment, so there's no sun. It's going to be a warm day, I think, probably mid-20s, which isn't too bad. Um, day I'll start off, I think, with a bit of a, a roller coaster ride before I drop down across a gorge and then climb up to Mount Blackwood. So, should be a good day. Nice, easy, nice, easy start to the day. And I'll, um, I'll catch you later when there's something to see. So I'm still uh, heading down my whiskey track. I'm not 100% sure on that. I passed a um, champagne track before. There's a square bottle track and a vodka track around here somewhere. That's Lerderdurg Gorge off to my left. One thing about this Lerderdurg walk, it doesn't spend a lot of time in the gorge, in the roughest part of the gorge. Walks a little bit of it around Blackwood, but it's, the gorge is pretty, it's more like a valley there. This is the steepest bit of the gorge, but yeah, I won't really get into it. I'm always tracking along the western kind of um, side of it. And it's all good. It'd be a slow walk if you're going through the gorge and there's no track. I'll save that for another day. So I've consulted my map, which is always a handy thing. Um, it appears I've been following vodka track for the last um, about five k. So vodka track's about to come to the end, an end though. And I'm about to drop into this um, this big gorge you can see in front of us. This is a tributary to the Lerderdurg. This is, I think it's Whiskey Creek, this one. If I've got any chance to get water, the day it'll be down there. Um, and I'm assuming, I'm guessing, I climb up the other side on the Whiskey Track. I know there's a Whiskey Track and a Vodka Track and a Square Bottle Track around here somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, this isn't going to be fun on my knees, but anyway, this is a steep, steep descent. Yeah, I'm not sure how this will show up in the GoPro, but this is one of the steeper drops on the on the walk. And climb out the other side is uh, is up there. It's almost as steep. So I'm down in, I'll arrive down in Whiskey Creek. It's got a trickle of water coming down it in spots. So I think I'm going to um, top up with an extra litre just to make sure I've got enough today. I've got enough, but I want to be comfortable this afternoon getting into Backers Marsh. So yeah, I'm going to lay down there and filter some of that. All right. The... Uh, Water successfully filled it, had to scoot the mozzie, mozzies off the top. Time to get out of this gorge now. Oh, it's going to be a, like from here up to Mount Blackwood's probably the biggest climb of the day, I'm thinking. So if um, anyone comes through and they're looking for water and this little creek's dry, if you keep going down the creek bed about another, I guess it's a kilometre, maybe a bit less, You'll get to Lerderdurg, the Lerderdurg River, 
And even if it's not flowing, there'll be pools in that. You'll just have to look for them. But I'm not going down there today because I've just topped up and I'm okay. So I'm going up here. Let the fun begin. Well, that's the uh, steepest bit of the climb out of the way. I didn't feel much that because it would have been ugly. And, um, so now I'm heading on this fire track. I follow fire tracks now pretty well uh, up to Mount Blackwood. Uh, should be there in about another 40 minutes, I guess. It'll be time for a bit of a break and something to eat, I think. So I've been doing a little bit of road walking for the last 10 minutes. I'm about to um, swing up to Mount Blackwood, which is that high point just through the trees. I'm actually out of Litterdurg at the moment. This is um, farmland. Once I go over Mount Blackwood, I'll be back in Litterdurg. So this is... Um, the view from the road. One thing about this Lerderdurk track, there's not a lot of long range views. This is probably my best opportunity, maybe up at Mount Blackwood, to get some long ones, I reckon. Alright, this is where I turn left. This is looking back down into Lerderdurk from uh, pretty well the top of Mount Blackwood. Mount Blackwood's just through the trees there, where the tower is. And I'm about to wade into this long grass now. Actually, this doesn't last long. So Mount Blackwood is an old volcano. I'm guessing where those trees are on the side, that's the vent where the lava came out. I'm just skirting around the side of it now. Like some easement between the Mount Blackwood Reserve and Lerderdurgus and the house. Um, I'll drop back into the park in a minute. Yes. Heading back into uh, Lerderdurg. I'm on the Blackwood Ranges track now. Um, probably take me four, four and a half hours to get through the rest of Lerderdurg. And then I'll be dropping down into Backers Marsh through the suburbs and through some rural land. So I've got a fair bit to go yet. I haven't seen much wildlife on this walk. I saw, well, apart from roos and wallabies and birds. I saw one copperhead yesterday. I couldn't get a photo of it. A little, uh, oh, there he is, a little blue tongue here. Some bacon in the middle of the track. I think I'll leave him alone. There's no bikes around, so he won't get run over. They're beautiful. If you stick his tongue out of the camera, we'll see the blue tongue. I don't think he's going to though. No. So here's the second notable wildlife about 20 metres after the blue tongue. Got an echidna. He's just diving into the bushes. Log, mate. I'll leave him alone. If I stood still long enough, he'll come out. But I like this um, <clears throat> areas of kangaroo grass and open forest. It's nice to walk through. Helps that the track's not super steep at the moment too. So I'm still on that Blackwood Ranges track. I'll be on it for a, another couple of hours yet at least. This is close to four wheel drives. Um, I think horse riders 
the mountain bikes can use it. <clears throat> Not that I've seen, I've seen one person, one um, runner came through, and that's all I've seen all day. Don't know if it's going to come out in the GoPro, but those flat plains beyond the trees in the distance, that's where I'm dropping down to. That's where back is marshes. So I've got a bit to go yet. I think I said before I was on um, Blackwood Ranges track. Actually, you can't follow Blackwood Ranges track all the way because it goes through the Alcal um, reference area. So I actually skirted around, I think it's um, Clifford track and, and Alcal track around the edges, but I'm black on. This is the back, bleh, this is the Blackwood Ranges track I'm on again now. And I'll follow this till I leave the park, I think. Through the trees there, drop into the depths. That's Lerda Lerda Gorge. This is the most rugged kind of part of the gorge. Like I said yesterday, I think you can walk through the gorge. It takes about two or three days. So I suppose if they had a route of this Lerda Lerda track through the gorge, it would have made it from a two and a half, three day walk to a five day walk probably. And probably would have got people that really aren't prepared for a, an off-track rough walk into country that maybe they shouldn't be in. So they've taken the Lerderderg track around the outside of the gorge. It's a nice walk though. Lots of wildlife. I've seen another echidna before. So I'm still on uh, Blackwood Ranges track. The section of Blackwood Ranges track after Long Point track to, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it, the one from Mackenzie Flat, the one that drops down to Mackenzie Flat, is very exposed. So there's not a lot of shade on this bit of the track. So I'm suffering a bit now in the early afternoon heat. It's not too bad. I'll find a tree soon to sit under for a while on it. So there's uh, Mount Blackwood over there in the distance by those black clouds. And that's um, looking down into the depths of Lerderdur Gorge through the trees there. The cloud almost looks like it might get a storm. I'm out at, uh, well I'm just popping out on Swan Road, so that's the kind of bush part of the walk over. Now I'm heading through, heading into the outskirts of Backers Marsh, then through Backers Marsh to the station. So um, yeah, all good so far. That storm that I saw over Mount Blackwood's getting closer to me. I hear the lot, hear the thunder rumbling away. Oh, so. And it's clouded over the top. So we'll see if I make it dry or if I cop a thunderstorm. I'm walking um, Swan Road in our bitumen. Pretty soon I'll get a view down towards Backers Marsh. It's kind of the outskirts. That's a big quarry they have there. That's where they were. Uh, well, they might still be dumping the PFAS contaminated soil from the um, Transurgeons Tunnel to the west. I'm not sure they call it West Link or the tunnel that's meant to take some of the pressure off the Westgate Bridge. So there's a bit of controversy that I don't know if they're still doing it. Uh, circumnavigating Bald Hill, it seems like. That's back as Marsh down there. dropping down here well looks like I'm back in civilization I'm going this way thank God so I'm just having a bit of a rest as I enter back as marsh have a look what I've got in front of me I think they're calling this the Thousand Steps. Oh. I don't know if 
you can see that stretching down into the distance but my knees are about shot after 80 something k's so i can't really cover it in me and anyway not much further to go i'll take my time down there there's a milestone it's crossing over the western freeway we got three or four k's to go hopefully i'll make the five o'clock train it's about 20 to four now i'm not going to make the four o'clock one so i'm making my way through back as marsh the track used to go down the main street but they've rerouted it down to join a creekside path i think i'm on the new track uh, although it's a little bit hard to tell let's see how i go and get the creek I'm not going to get lost though, so it's well and truly suburbia now. This is a nicer way to get through back as much and through the um, down the main street. So this is a new trail. I'm walking along this creek, and that is the end of the. I've alluded to the crack. So I'm back at home obviously after I, I didn't sign off after I got to the railway station in Bacchus Marsh. The train came and I was wrangling everything with one arm trying to touch on and get on the train and show the conductor my ticket. So anyway, long story short, didn't do a sign off video for the Lurderg track. Um day three was a solid day, 33k through Lurderg itself there was a fair bit of climbing I, I can't remember the exact figure but uh, i'll stick it on the end of the video but it was up there and it was a warm day i had thunderstorms in the afternoon that i managed to avoid um the loaded tracks a good walk it's not one of the great walks of victoria but it's not bad you can access it with public transport which is a slightly unusual thing you can get a bus to dalesford and then a train from um backers marsh back to Melbourne or wherever, which is good. Uh, the camping's good, you can camp in a lot of spots. You'll obviously be carrying water um, to most spots. Water is particularly, can be particularly scarce through Lerderdurg when you don't go into the gorge. Um, the tracks are a little bit overgrown. Coming into and out of Blackwood was particularly nasty. I used the bike route. Um, the the other thing to remember or consider is I use the All Trail app and the map, the All Trail GPX files wildly out in a few spots. It looks like they almost flew a drone over the gorge up the buyer's backtrack section because it was taking a straight line down the gorge where the buyer's backtrack kind of cuts in and out. It also uses an, used an old alignment of the track. So keep that in mind if you're thinking of doing it. Apart from that, all good. Catch you next time.